In this video, we're going to look at how to hide a button with JavaScript. So this is a simple job to hide a button with JavaScript and on the page at the moment I've just got a couple of paragraph tags and nestled inside there I've got a button with an ID of login BTN. So I'm going to use that ID to target the button and change some of its properties in order to make it invisible. And there are actually a couple of different properties that we could use here depending on what you're trying to achieve and I'll run through both of those for you now. So if we literally just want to make that login button disappear, we can set its visibility property to hidden. And so we're actually accessing the style property of the button element. So this is really the same as adding a CSS rule where we set the visibility to hidden, but instead we're using JavaScript so we can update it dynamically when we need to. The other thing we could do is actually set the display property to none. And so whilst this does exactly the same thing as setting the visibility because we can no longer see the button element, the button's actually been removed from the document flow so it doesn't actually take up any space next to the other elements on the page. So if you look at the two paragraph tags that we have, they're right next to each other apart from the margin that's separating them and although the button element is still there, it's not actually taking up any space on the page. So the choice of which you use is really up to you, although I'd probably say it's more common to set the display property to none and actually completely remove the button from the page in that way. Otherwise you might have a little bit of a hole in the page where users are expecting something to be. Although setting the visibility to hidden can be handy if you want to keep a parent element, a container, to exactly the same size if you're adding and removing a button in this way.